Hi, welcome to Crass FX. Um, this is my very first video. I was recently asked to recreate this, and I had wished I had put it on a 2020, but this is on a 12 by 12, so we're gonna do it on a 20 by 20 today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my cup exactly the same way. I took down notes from my last pour and I'm using all Amsterdam paints except for the uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and 24K DecoArt Americana. So let's layer up this cup. I'm going to start with the Thalo Blue. My consistency is always so that this will stand up. So it's a mound on a mound on a mound, kind of thick. So you've got your phthalo blue in. Now I'm gonna put some white. Then I'm gonna do the 24K. And then I'm gonna put white back on top of that. Just a little bit though. Then I have Amsterdam's sky blue. And then I have turquoise green. And then I'm going to go back in with some white and some 24K and white again. This is Amsterdam's permanent red violet. I'll go back in with a little bit of white. Put in that beautiful phthalo blue. Some white again. Twenty four K. Tiny bit of white again. Sky blue. Turquoise green. And then instead of doing the gold again, I'm going to put a little bit of white. And this permanent red violet. Got a full cup. I'm just going to use this up. All right, I'm going to set my cups aside. I'm going to empty this cup. So I have a little puddle to pour onto. I'm going to torch that. Spread it around a little bit. And the pouring medium that I am using is something that 
friend of mine and myself have made up. It's called Mix. Um, it will be on the market in August. I will put all the information down in the description. So here's our beautiful layered cup. And I'm going to do a straight pour with a twist. All right, let's go. Slow it down so I can catch the end. Okay. Beautiful cup. I'm going to fix that metal because I didn't catch very well. Get a little skewer. And I'm just going to bring it back in. Okay. Get that out of the way. I will get a stick and get the rest of this out. And then I'm going to put a little bit of white on the side. It's a flow extender. so the paint doesn't roll over itself. I'm gonna spread it out with my little egg turner. When I'm done doing this, I'm gonna to torch it, get all these crazy air bubbles out. I'm going to torch it. See what kind of cells pop up and all of that.
in the actual paint, but there was a lot on the sides. Let's see a couple more right here. Get those. All right. So then I'm going to decide where do I like the best because I'm going to go there first so that I can make the line stretch out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to take it off this way first. And then bring it back off this way maybe. I don't know. But I know that I like this side better. So I'm going to go that way first. Here we go. I just want it to just barely touch and then I'm going to bring it back. See how that's opening up? It's popping cells. I'm gonna make it go this way a little bit. Try to keep that circle in the middle because it is gorgeous. And then I'm gonna bring it back. Pull it down this way. Bring it back. I'm going to take it all the way to that corner this time. I'm going to walk it. And then I'm going to bring it back. Turn it around here so you can see. I'm going to take it down to that corner. And I made it. So I'm going to bring it back. Then I'm going to turn it towards you. Stretching out this top corner over here. Bringing back my center for my composition. Look at all those cells opening up. Wow, they're gorgeous. Almost there. Just gonna kind of move it around for composition purposes. Kind of digging these cells. I think if you look at it this way, it kind of looks like a wave that's coming around. I don't want to put my hands over it really, but as it comes around this way, 
And I got some cool stuff going on. I just dripped, so now I have to move it. Don't wave your hands over your painting. Makes you have boo-boos. Oh, come on, come on. Even if it just goes to the side, I'll be cool with that. Okay, now I'm going to bring it back. I think I like that. Take off my gloves so I don't drip on it again. Alright. I'm gonna clean up my sides. Always scrape your sides. That's what makes it stop running off the side. Come over towards y'all. around the other side. Alright. Give it one last torch. Let me bring you down for a close-up. All right, guys. Look at these cells. No satin enamel used. Just mix. They make like a transparency that I've never seen before, but it definitely is not hurting my feelings. That permanent red violet is just beautiful. The lines. look like little river pebbles. That's super cool up there. I love that corner, but I'm a huge fan of pink. These stripy cells. This metal. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I will be posting every Thursday. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. All of my information is in the description box. Thanks. Bye.